Hello guys and welcome back to another news update. I apologise I haven't posted anything in like the past three days. But with me being on holiday I didn't have time before I came back. And unfortunately when I got back I've been so busy unpacking and getting ready for work that uh, I've not had a chance to. But I am back. I will be trying to do it daily as of usual now I'm back home. So hopefully we'll get back on top of it. But that does get started with it let's start with comic books because honestly there's still not that much to catch up on with comic books so uh, let's kick off with Marvel have revealed that uh, spider Geddon's creative team and they've teased multiple deaths uh, coming as well so who knows we might be losing a few different versions of spider-man uh, in all honesty also, if you are a fan of the Firefly comics, then good news because you'll be uh, coming up soon. They'll be telling the story of the Unification War. Uh, so, again, if you're a big fan, that is definitely, definitely something to be looking forward to. But again, going back to Marvel for our final piece of news, they are going to be announcing th uh, three. Well, not, they're not going to be announcing. They have announced. Three more Infinity War This could be very Infinity Wasps. God, I will get there in the end. They've uh, announced three more of them, and honestly, it kind of looks cool. So hopefully they'll do a really good job with that one. Also, I apologise for the video. I have no idea what is going on with my computer at the moment, but it doesn't want to do anything properly anyway moving away from comics and moving into the world of manga and anime and unfortunately I've got quite a bit of bad news to start off with uh, so let's start off with uh, and I hope I can pronounce his name right but storyteller Utamaru Hitsura has uh, passed away at the age of 81 unfortunately and honestly, if you go through the work that he's done, he's done some really, really big stuff. And uh, it's a shame to see him go. But unfortunately, unfortunately, he's not the only one. Unfortunately, voice actor Dennis Akiyuma, I hope I said that right, has passed away at the age of 86. Uh, again, he's behind some re <coughs> really big stuff, I do say. Uh, He's done quite a lot of video game stuff actually, like the Sailor Moon video game, and it's just been, oh, it's, it's sad to see that one go, especially at 66, I feel like he has so much more to give. Uh, so that's a shame, but unfortunately to add to the sad news, that uh, Satomi Akisaka, and I hope I've said that right, uh, is leaving Bang Dream, uh, <coughs> God I'm losing my voice today. Bang Dream, uh, the franchise, due to a uh, sudden loss of hearing, unfortunately. Uh, but I hope that she'll be fine, and hopefully we'll see her do something else in the future. Uh, it'll be hard to see her go anyway, but uh, yeah, hopefully everything is going to be alright for her, and everything works out in the end. Hopefully we'll see him again. Do something else, uh, but unfortunately, my heart goes out to everyone involved in that, all the families, everyone there. But that is it for the sad news now, guys. So let's try and go for a cheery note now. So, moving on to some slightly better stuff. So, we'll start off with Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll are going to be streaming uh, English subtitle promos for videos of uh, Chow's School Road and Homes of Kyoto. Uh, both of which actually look really good, especially Homes of Kyoto. I really like the look of that one. Uh, so it's good to see that there's now been English subtitle promos. Definitely something to check out. Crunchyroll have also added 10 more simulcasts for the summer, so uh, I could read them all out, but it's obviously it's pretty long list but there's some decent stuff in there like one room second season so that is definitely something to look forward to but if you're not watching Crunchyroll 
And then you've also got High Dive that have uh, premiered 100 Sleeping Princesses, uh, Princesses, Princes, and the Kingdom of Dreams anime, which is going to be on July the 5th. Uh, and if you're not bothered about watching the anime, maybe you want to read the manga. Well, Makoto Sander has launched a new manga. Uh, so, we're not sure what it is just yet, but I get the feeling it'll be some sort of cutesy cutesy girly thing, uh, just judging by previous what I've seen so far. And hopefully it'll be good. I don't think it'll be my thing, but you never know. Uh, as I've already mentioned, uh, <coughs> One Room's anime uh, for the second season will be on Crunchyroll, where there's also been a promo uh, video dropped with that. And honestly, it doesn't show an awful lot, but it definitely looks at least slightly interesting. I might have to check it out. Uh, Persona 5, their TV anime has revealed new visuals and for the uh, show's second half. And... Yeah, it's a little strange, but I like it. And Persona's one of those things where it really, really drags you in, so it'd be really good to see what they do as well. Uh, now, if you are a fan of watching animes on Netflix, good news for everyone. Because uh, Fate Extra, Last Encore, it first started... Uh, Promo, well, promo in, airing, should I say, uh, on Netflix in the UK. It is now also available in the US. So that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. That is something to look forward to. The Fate series have always been awesome. So, again, great, great news coming out of that. Uh, also, I really, really can't say this. Uh, I've tried so many times in the past, I still can't say it. Uh, Roruni Kenshi. That's definitely not how you say it, but... Uh, their stage play has now got a... Uh, video, uh, stage play has got a digest of a video stream. Uh, it was supposed to be running through October and November in Tokyo and Osaka. And the video uh, that has come with it... I want to say it looks good. Uh, hopefully it will be. I just I don't get how you do anime as a stage play and make it look good. But I have high hopes for this and I hope it will turn out well. Uh, <coughs> but unfortunately with all these new things that are coming out, again stuff has to end. Unfortunately Comico ends... Uh, recovery of the MMO junk man uh, junkie manga uh, due to the author's health. So again, I hope that uh, he's okay. I hope everything's all right, and hopefully they'll be able to create something even better uh, once his health has recovered. Uh, but with that being said, Project Anima has revealed the winning concept for sci-fi TV anime in August. And honestly, the style, I, I don't get it, but it's very original. So I suppose that's why it's so good. But I mean, it's a very original style and it makes me want to check it out just because of that style. So, you know, hopefully that'll be good. But uh, if you're looking for something you don't have to wait for in the future you want something right now well out as of this very moment uh, haven't you heard um, Sakamoto they're now been released for DVD and blu-ray of season one uh, so head on out to shops and get that now because frankly it looks pretty damn awesome uh, also a little bit more bad news to go with <laughs> Of a Gravity Rush 2, their manga is going to end next month, unfortunately. Uh, in fact, have I got a date for it? I don't think I do. I think the last issue will be in August, but as of right now, the next issue will be July the 27th. So there's not many issues to go, unfortunately. Uh, <coughs> 
But, Violet Evergarden, uh, their fi- uh, film has been announced and it has now dropped a uh, video re- uh, releasing the same time it will be released worldwide in January 2020 and honestly it looks absolutely amazing so it's good that it won't just be and as it was originally announced just in Japan in January it will now be at the same time everywhere in the world so again it just it looks absolutely amazing hopefully they'll be able to pull off an amazing film from that uh, also Piano Forest Anime uh, they're getting a second season in January so I know you've got a while to wait but I think it will be worth the wait because honestly the art style and what they've shown so far for it looks epic so hopefully that'll be good and uh, I think it's also pre uh, sorry it's also streaming on Netflix so if you want to get caught up on season one there you go that's where you can find it uh, now I know I've said a lot of bad things in the past about live action but honestly Animal Planet uh, their live action will be in UK cinemas uh, coming soon I'm not sure if we've got a date for it yet but hopefully when it comes to UK cinemas I will have to check it out and honestly it don't look bad in fact it looked pretty good unfortunately I can't slate this one so maybe maybe finally we're going to get a good live action film uh, just one last piece of news before I get off uh, so director Tatsuki has revealed its fourth uh, anime short for Hentatsu and honestly I'm not a fan of the art style it's not my thing but it's definitely different and out there so if you're a fan of something that's like that uh, please head on over online check that out uh, it continues from its first three shorts so yeah honestly it, like I've said it's not my style but I know there's a lot of people out there that would enjoy it so it's definitely worth a watch if you're after something a little bit different but that's been it for me today guys I know I've rushed through these things but I need to try and get caught up on the news to try and let you guys know everything that's going on out there in the world today so I'll let you know later on if there's any more news updates that have dropped that are big and massive but if not I will see you tomorrow guys so until then bye for now guys bye